I think it was the 2013-14 season. I did my first season, went away with the 20s that summer with um, like Maro and Nick. Obviously Maro's done pretty well since. Um, and then was on loan to Bedford that September. First game of the season, ruptured my Achilles. End of the season and then, yeah, now, now we're here. Yeah, obviously I was gutted because I, I was thinking it could could have could have been like a breakthrough breakthrough season, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Once I've done it, I was just like, right now let's get get back on the pitch because yeah, like it's, it's rugby, you're gonna get injured, and just happy I did it when I was younger than when I'm older, and it might have been career ending. So yeah, just happy happy that I did it. Well, not happy that I did it, but happy that it happened earlier on in my career than than now. I suppose it's a bit um, bittersweet in a sense because it's like obviously he's one of my best friends and um, it was wicked seeing him and, and Nick doing so well um, but then kind of for me I felt like I'd, uh, I could have been in a similar similar position to the two like at least playing maybe not not to what Mara's done because what he's done is pretty pretty phenomenal but um, yeah just to try and have got into the rotation and then that kind of put a bit of a handbrake on the um, on that, but hopefully, yeah, now I'm back, back fit and ready, ready to go. So, fingers crossed on this season. <laughs> I got looked after amazingly by the medical staff, and they just supported me throughout. Said that nothing's nothing's really changed for me. Just made sure that I've still felt included in the club even though obviously I wasn't playing I was pretty much spending all my time in here so um, yeah just it was good to it's a, I suppose if you're going to get injured then it's a good environment to be injured in and some of the days when you know I've set you set a goal for yourself and then it comes to that date and you're nowhere near your goal and you know I, I kind of came back I, I kind of set myself a six seven month injury span and then it ended up being nine months and um, yeah it's just really frustrating to not get not get back to playing as soon as I wanted to and not get back into it as soon as I wanted to um, because you know you want to play rugby and to lose a season especially at the time like I had and then coming back to last season as well with no LV Cup so obviously there was less opportunity to play it was um, yeah time to get injured it was pretty much like for me I think it was one of the worst one of the worst times to get a long-term injury but it is what it is so nice offload and Here's the right winger. Oh, that's good stuff. Nathan Earl. Well, he's, he looks like an excitement machine, Nathan Earl. Um, Mark asked me if I wanted to go over to New Zealand to play. And I was more than happy to because I'd had pretty much two seasons of minimal rugby. Well, one season of no rugby and one season of minimal rugby. And then to um, kind of get the opportunity to play in New Zealand and learn like a new brand, I couldn't really pass up. and. Played a bit out there. Was meant to come back in July, and um, the head coach of Canterbury out there asked Mark if he'd be okay with letting me stay and play the Canterbury in the Mitre 10 Cup season. Um, and then Mark asked me if I was okay with it, and I was more than happy to because to get even more rugby into at, at the level it was, um, yeah, I couldn't couldn't pass up the opportunity. And then yeah, got back got back two weeks ago. So yeah, ended up staying for the season and got got a good run of games under my belt, played more rugby in the last, what, four or five months than I have in two years, so yeah, came, came good. And um, yeah, just being able to play in a, just a, div a different competition, a different brand of rugby and learning like how a, how a different clubs um, kind of run is always, always eye-opening and then to have the faith, have the faith that the coaches did out there in me, and being being able to play in as many games as I did, and in the semi-final and final especially, um, yeah, did did well to give my confidence, I guess, because um, yeah, I'd had two years of two years and not a whole lot of rugby, and then suddenly 15 games in in a short period of time, and you know, a bit of a bit of rust has been wiped off now, and hopefully, I'm ready to go. So happy to be back at the club, um, seeing the boys again. You know, missed a few of the lads. Haven't missed a few others, but <laughs> no, missed everyone. It's wicked to be back and to see the coach and the lads again and be back in the, in the environment. Um, and yeah, the weekend just to be able to wear the jersey again was awesome. Obviously, not the result we wanted, and 
hopefully that will change this weekend. But yeah, just to be back back with the boys and back with uh, everyone really is just awesome to be awesome to be home. Although um, the weather could be a bit better, but yeah. <laughs> Whatever competition it is, I'm happy to play in and just to be able to play obviously with Nick again. You know, I've known him since I was 10, 11 years old, so it's pretty, pretty fun to be outside him, even though he does my nutting. Um, but yeah, just happy to, happy to be back with all my mates again, happy to be playing with my mates and playing, the, playing back in the Saris tops. Yeah, it's where I want to be, so hopefully long may it continue. If there's a spot to be taken, then obviously I want to I want to be wearing the top, and if I can break into the break into the Saturday side um, and try and really start pushing for um, for a jersey, then yeah, that that would be that would be brilliant, and it would mean my time in New Zealand and time away from the club really pay dividends because it shows some more faith from the coaches in me, and then just being able to progress my rugby to a point where they're happy for me to be wearing a jersey at the weekend. So.